critiquing, you know, I had a long list of things that they got wrong. And I, I got to episode two, and I tapped out. I was like, I just need to enjoy this. Just watch it and enjoy it, and it's a lot of fun. You, it, it, it took a lot for me to do the release, but once I did, I, I enjoy the show. Now I look forward to it every week. Yeah, yeah I, I enjoyed it. Um, I would kept up on every single one for season two, but we will catch up. But I definitely uh, like what they've been trying to do overall. Now let's get to uh, let's get to the Robertson panel, and before we yeah. uh, get to the the episode specifically, historically the Robertson panel. Uh, and I want to start with this very leading question, which is this. The Robertson panel wanted to figure out a way to tap down the hysteria that was going on back then and their approach to that. And it makes me think about today, if disclosure would have happened, I mean real disclosure with the president on live TV, if that would have happened before the coronavirus, Paul, that is a good choice. Today, I'm not so confident that it would have been smooth sailing. What do you think? Well, I go back and forth. You keep in mind that that was the generation that fought the Second World War. So they had gone through a truly epic Titanic struggle with hundreds of Americans dead, millions of people around the world dead. So there's definitely reasons to have started this secrecy and to have kept it going. Uh, because it's also a secret that gives you power, right? And and what the U.S. had in the late 40s and through the, well, forever, is very, very intense control over the media. They had it then, and they have it now. Very, very tightly controlled system. And I would say it's actually worse now than it was then because back then there actually were quite a, quite a lot of independently owned newspapers that uh, were functioning and had big circulation. Uh, today, all of, all the mainstream media, is, there's, there's no independently owned mainstream media. Uh, and so what you had back in the late 40s, early 50s was uh, an attempt by the government to control the narrative as much as possible, but they kept losing that control through the newspaper coverage of this. So by 1952, when things were really big over Washington, there was lots of sightings there, there were sightings all throughout the year. And it was the last year of Harry Truman's presidency, and this thing came to a head, and that resulted in what became known as the Robertson Panel, which was the beginning of 1953, was the last weekend of Harry Truman's presidency. And this was a CIA or orchestrated panel of very prominent scientists who, frankly, didn't know or care much about UFOs overall, and they convened to put this to sleep much more effectively than ever before, not just for the media, but even for the military itself. The Robertson Tunnel was actually the last bit of house cleaning of the Harry Truman administration, because uh, two days after they finished, Dwight Eisenhower was sworn in as president. I think that our 
community has often scoffed at the idea of economic system shutting down, religions and chaos, anarchy in the streets with the revelation of, you know, aliens and ET contact and what that would mean globally. And that we just look forward in time thinking there was nothing that would do that to this planet. And, and I look now, and that question's been answered. And there is something that could globally cause panic and shut this planet down, and we're going through it now. So the question of if this could happen, that part has been answered. It makes me wonder. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to withhold my conclusion on that because we're only in the beginning stages of this. Uh, you know, China's already gone over the hump as it were, so is South Korea. We have just demonstrated with Corona, with COVID, that it is possible. It seems to be, I mean, maybe that's premature, but it does seem possible that we can deal with it. We have to be strong and we can get through this. And with something like uh, a Italian revelation, if that were to be announced, um, I don't know that that would have as immediate widespread disruption, frankly, because with something like a, a pandemic, it's literally keeping people home from engaging in the economy. And the question is, would an alien disclosure do that? And, you know, um, when Bryce Sable and I thought about this a decade ago when we wrote AD after disclosure, mm -hmm. we really, it's hard. It's hard to put yourself in that imaginary position and ask yourself, what would ordinary people do? I think it's true there would be a lot of initial panic, but ultimately, life would not necessarily look all that different for people in the immediate aftermath. So we we felt, at least more or less, that there would be a major uh, blowback, but it wouldn't be all at once, and it wouldn't necessarily be people running around in circles pulling their hair out of the head and panic because you can only do that so long, then you have to get back to work and pay the bills. So. Corona is actually shutting us down in a way that only a pandemic really probably could, whereas disclosure would be different. Now, not everyone will behave well with the disclosure, but I think a lot of people would. And I, I don't actually think it would be as bad. Uh, well, I, I, there's, I, I think that there's two different types of disclosure. There would be one that would state we have made ET contact and we've got crash retrievals and we are in communication today and we have been in the past. That's one revelation. The other one would be we're not alone in the universe and we know that this particular planet out of Zeta Reticuli is sending us signals and there is alien life out there. So one would cause one reaction and the other would cause a different type of reaction, right? One would be truthful, and one would be a lie. <laughs> uh, basically, right? So, uh, the thing that I would say with any kind of UFO disclosure is it, it's tr a slippery slope for any government to, to go down that road. Which is why I think they obviously haven't done it. Because it's really a hard one to manage. When you give a little bit, I used to say, like, how do you become a little bit pregnant? And how do you do a little bit disclosure? Uh, if they were to say, UFOs appear to be real and appear to be not from our world, then, you know, like what we're seeing, we're seeing a quasi attempt at this from uh, a non-official organization like DPSA, but that's not the same as an official statement from a government agency. That's right. So if you have a government agency make that statement, that's a totally different thing. And if they were to do that, then uh, there'd be a and follow-up questions right away. And it would be very difficult, I think, for that situation to be contained. And that, that's why it hasn't happened. It's, it's a no-win for any major government at this time. What, what? By major government, I'm talking U.S. Right. Uh, and its allies and, and, and Russia and China, probably. Why hasn't there been, Richard, uh, to this? Uh, we, uh, close. We've had something similar. But why hasn't there been the real whistleblower? the real cat to come forward and say, okay, this is what's going on. Uh, my honest opinion is that I think you have to look at the secrecy of the series of incidents. 
concentric circles. So uh, the, and at the center of that circle, the, the people who actually are ultra, ultra red in, based, the, the type of security that is involved is so pervasive, so intense, there is no escaping this. I think every, like those people, every, every word that they utter is probably monitored and recorded and there is no, there's no privacy, there's no secrecy for most of those, for any of those people. And I would bet, if I had enough money that's worth betting, that their families would be at risk and everyone that they love would be at risk. I think it's that intent at that center. You know, it's just like any other uh, person who's got very, very um, sensitive classified information, how that entire system works. Those people don't just go talking because they can't. And you've got a situation where the, the most critical knowledge of this subject is is governed by very, very stringent classified regulations. And on top of that, as we know within the uh, government, as we're learning more and more, any intelligent analysis of the Eric Davis Thomas Wilson document has shown that the secret has become utterly or, or primarily privatized in a lot of the key ways. So you've got a, a very few government gatekeepers, very few, it looks like a handful, like in the DOD, it could be as few as five people who actually have genuine
result of the reaction to coronavirus, incidentally. I was just looking at an article by uh, Mike Adams over at Natural News. Uh, I'm going to ask a different one. This is an article on Bill Gates. Well, uh, Richard, let, let's do that when we come back after the break. I've got to take a quick break right here. Our guest tonight, Richard Dolan, it's Friday Night on Coast. I'm your host, Jimmy Cher. Stay with us. We'll be right back. of the outbreak 48 people have been hospitalized now it's down to three she says people need to take seriously the recent public health order for non-essential employees to stay home steve gregory kfi news some parents in orange county are looking for new ways to keep their kids occupied during the pandemic some parents are making crafts buying board games or buying video game systems this mom has other ideas every day we've been on about a five mile hike or run or walk um, just trying to get out. Fresh air, yeah. She says her school is giving her kids plenty of homework while it's shut down. Some people who've had second thoughts about stocking up on high-demand items at Costco will have to figure out what to do with their unwanted items. Costco says they are not doing returns on toilet paper, paper towels, hand sanitizer, and wipes, rice, water, and Lysol. The governor's office has ordered Long Beach City Community College to temporarily reopen in preparation for coronavirus patients. It will begin taking patients transferred from nearby hospitals only starting today. The hospital will not be accepting emergency room patients or walk-in patients. The facility will add 158 hospital beds to the region, including 10 
10 intensive care beds and 10 ventilators. For up-to-the-minute information on the coronavirus, check out our website at kfiam640.com, keyword virus. And country music icon, Kenny Rogers, has died. Rogers uh, dominating both the country and pop charts during the 1970s and 80s. He passed away at his home in Georgia at the age of 81. SoCal weather from KFI. Mostly cloudy overnight with a chance of showers, lows in the 40s and 50s, and then clearing to afternoon sunshine for your Saturday. Highs uh, in the 60s. Rain likely on Sunday and on into Monday and maybe even beyond that. Right now, Pasadena reporting 53 degrees. It's 51 in Moor Park, 56 in Anaheim, 55 in Cyprus. We leave local. From KFI's 24-hour newsroom, I'm Bill Seward. Good evening. In West Covina, there's a work zone that's on the 10 westbound from Citrus to Puente Avenue. Two left lanes are going to be shut down until 8 in the morning. Watch for delays throughout that area. South LA, we have good news. Earlier crash on the 110 northbound as Lawson has been cleared. Your drive's up to full speeds in that area. East LA, we have another work zone. This is on the 5 northbound from Calzona to Grande Vista. The right lane, that's going to be shut down until 5 in the morning. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Brian Van. You're one of the millions of Americans who owes back taxes. If you get nervous when the mail comes because you might get a letter from the IRS, then you've heard their enforcement agents are cracking down this year and can garnish your paycheck, levy your bank accounts, even your home or business could be at risk over unpaid taxes. It's all true, but it's also true there's a way out. It's called the Fresh Start Initiative, an important government program for tax debt assistance. The award-winning experts at Optima Tax Relief will fight to get you the best deal possible protecting your paycheck and your assets from irs collections but don't delay because the irs is tacking on interest and hefty penalties every single day so don't wait until it's too late call optima now for a free consultation call 800-765-7703 800-765-7703 some restrictions apply for complete details please visit optimataxrelief.com if you're one of those people that are simply frightened to go to the dentist, and maybe you've put it off for years, well, Cunning Dental specializes in people that are frightened of going to the dentist. And they'll repair years of neglect in as little as one or two appointments, all while you're under a gentle twilight sleep where you're kind of not there, or full anesthesia. And they do dental implants and partials and bridges and crowns and root canals and the full cosmetic smile makeovers. Their only commitment, getting in the chair, and you wake up with a brand new smile. Of course, you have to pay for it, too. Cunning Dental is the pioneer of sleep dentistry. They'll put you at ease. They take care of everything. Call for a free exam with CT scan and a $1,000 gift voucher on qualified treatments, and that's until March 31st. Call 888-640-SMILE. 888-640-SMILE. That's 888-640-SMILE. Contractor license 1047781. to $129 make a world of difference in the efficiency of your air conditioner. Because just $129 is all the cost to have one of my genius dental technicians come to your home and perform a complete system rejuvenation. We're going to clean and adjust your air conditioner. And make six critical adjustments to bring it back to factory specs. Rejuvenation reduces breakdowns and makes your AC last longer. A lot longer. Rejuvenation. And we'll clean the coils the right way, not the easy way. You do not want to face Ken Goodrich if he finds out you did it the easy way. You can't imagine how much difference it makes when the coils have been cleaned the right way. Six critical adjustments and external coil cleaning the right way. Kenny and the boys are going to make your air conditioner sing like paparazzi. I think you mean paparazzi. Yeah, him too. Kim, G-O-E-T-T-M. We're the ones to call, but it's hard to spell. KFI AM 640. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom.
501-4721. To talk to Jimmy from east of the Rockies, call 800-825-5033. From west of the Rockies, toll free, call 800-618-8255. This is Coast to Coast AM with your guest host, Jimmy Church. All right, welcome back. I just want to let everybody know right now, I selected that song for Richard Dolan. In fact, all of the selections tonight are for Richard. I want to impress him with my musical pillar of knowledge. There you go. Are you a Coast Insider? Become a Coast Insider today, where you can listen to the show live or on demand on your computer, mobile device. All audio streams are delivered in high quality, crystal clear audio, and you get benefits like you get the last five years of audio archives, you get audio streaming, or you can get downloadable MP3s. You get media access through the website or the mobile app, and you also get to chat with hosts and special guests. Sometimes I even go in there and chat with you guys. So, you also get a direct email to George, all for just 15 cents a day. Go to coasttocoastam.com and become a Coast Insider. Our guest tonight, Richard Dolan, it is Friday night. Here at Coast, and you know what that means. Open lines. We're going to be doing all of that next after this short break. I'm your host, Jimmy Church, and this is Coast to Coast AM. Turn it How often do you say, I slept horrible last night, or it took me forever to fall asleep, or I couldn't get back to sleep? If you aren't sleeping well, or you're worried about sleeping aids, you should explore CBD for sleep. CBD is the natural extract from cannabis. There's no high. It's legal and you do not need a prescription from CBDistillery.com. But can CBD really help you sleep better? In a survey, 9 out of 10 CB Distillery customers said they sleep better with CBD. 9 out of 10 is impressive. Bottom line, if better sleep is important to you, you really owe it to yourself to explore CBD. And with over a quarter million customers, CB Distillery is the source you can trust. Explore all the amazing products at cbdistillery.com and get 20% off when you enter Nori at checkout. Again, enter Nori and O-O-R-Y for 20% off at cbdistillery.com. That's cbdistillery.com. cbdistillery.com. this. 
let's just go here. Have you found yourself going through different phases in your career in the way that you have to interface with the audience? In that, did you free with 